Hi there, I'm Andrew Larder. I'm a Fora Travel Advisor, and I'm doing a bit of a series on the luxury lodges of Australia. These are independent lodges, so not Sheraton's and Hyatt's and so on. Uh, independent lodges in Australia that are five star, absolutely amazing, each one absolutely dominating the area that it's in. So this one is called Spicer's Peak Lodge. And one of the things that's different from some of the other ones that are sitting on the water, uh, looking out on that kind of special part of Australia, this is up in the mountains. And so it's a different kind of a lodge. Let's take a look at some of the pictures and then I'll give you a rundown on what I'm excited about. So that's lovely, lovelier, really nice, really nice. Kind of cool up in the mountains. Like I said, it's a, it's a really a spot there and you can see that it looks out on everything. Some beautiful architecture, obviously very lovely, really well put together, beautiful uh, rooms. That's fantastic. I'm going to stop there and I'm just going to read uh, this little bit that's on my site. So the uh, the link for uh, Spicer's Peak Lodge is in the video description. It'll take you to my site at drewlarder.com. And there's a quick little bit here. It says all meals and beverages, including the celebrated tasting menu are included. Uh, uh, with, uh, with, uh, and I'm just skip through all the, uh, the restaurant part as part of the all-inclusive stay guests can enjoy a range of experience tailored to showcase this strikingly pristine landscape, guided nature walks, guided mountain bike adventures, four wheel drive discovery tours, night nocturnal walks, yoga, local history presentations. There are also four day guided treks of the region ending with a night of luxury at the lodge from March to October, uh, 10 ecosystems represented on site. Guests can spot iconic Australian native animals. That's my dog, speaking of native animals, uh, including uh, glossy black cockatoo, bushy tailed rock wallaby, kangaroo, bingo, koala. Uh, it's renowned for bird sighting with sightings of rare and threatened birds all from this lodge. Let's just look at a couple more pictures here just to give you a bit more of an idea. That's a pretty awesome spot to stay at in the mountains. Obviously, they take care of you. That looks fantastic. Okay, they got tennis cards. <laughs> it's coming up slow, so I'm going to let this one come up and then I'll stop there. Oh, come on. <laughs> now we're in the toilet. <laughs> but it's a beautiful, beautiful bathroom. I'm going to stop now. You can look through the uh, things at their site. Um, click the link in the video description. It'll take you to my site at drillarder.com. Uh, you can see a bit of a description, a uh, really good write-up about the Spicer's Peak Lodge. There's a video there. Uh, pictures and uh, at the bottom it has a thing that says Andrew Larda for a travel advisor you click that and you'll have the opportunity to give me your name and your email and maybe one line just going hey I'm thinking of going to Australia in June or whatever you want to say like that and uh, it'll start the conversation there's a this is a particular part of Australia and no matter where it is uh, <clears throat> you're going to come for a couple of weeks is probably a pretty good uh, estimate in your mind you need to think like that. And so it's it's not just a, hey, that looks like one great place to go stay at. It's more of a uh, creating of a of a of um, an itinerary, a trip. And uh, the trip can be the simplest and most popular one because it's all the things people have heard about. Starts in Sydney, goes to Ayers Rock. I know it's called Uluru now, but I'll call it Ayers Rock for uh, simplicity's sake. And then out to the Barrier Reef and maybe to the beaches and then you're home. And you do that over a couple of weeks time. So that's your starter itinerary. But I want to just mention to you that if you took the size of Australia and put it over top of the United States, it's about nine tenths as big as the States. So it's the equivalent of dropping into New Orleans, flying to St. Louis and going to Boston and going, there you go. I've seen the States, done it. Yeah, I've been there, man. I've seen it all. And uh, Australia is that big but um it is that cool it is just an absolute turn of a page from any other place you've seen the animals are different the native or aboriginal uh history and people and what they do and what they are is totally different from any other place um the the rock structures the history different different the convict kind of history is different the uh largest uh reef off the coast there's just so much and i'm, I'm only touching on uh the really the highlights but there's 50 major highlights 65 percent of people that go to australia once come back again and it's not to see the same things again it's to do 
the other stuff that they never got to see, the other side, the other coast, the uh, the wilderness. The there's just so many parts to it. That said. Click the link, send me your information and start the conversation about, hey, I want to go at this time. I want to uh, see these things and we can put together an itinerary and get you into some of the most jaw dropping spots. If you're on uh, YouTube, as you see this video, then, uh, you know, look through some of the last few videos that I've done. They're they're called the Luxury Lodges of Australia. I guess you can search for that and uh, you'll see a series of once in a lifetime experiences but there's five or six videos <laughs> so it's not once in a lifetime there's a whole series of them so uh, check it out click the link go check it out i'm andrew larder for travel advisor and uh, drewlarder.com is the website click the link go check it out and be blown away enjoy i'm andrew larder